Greetings, everyone. How is everyone doing this magical, what is it, Wednesday? Magical Wednesday. How is everybody doing? It has been a long time since I have did a live video. So, uh, how is everybody doing? <laughs> so much has been manifesting for me. So much has been manifesting. Life is it's just so beautiful. Life is very beautiful. I like to, before I even get into it, anything, I like to uh, thank each and one of you for being on my path. Because um, you all are me. <laughs> I like to thank the ancestors for continuing to bless me every day. I like to thank the elements of water, fire, wind, and air. Um, I like to just thank any spiritual being right now this path and this journey with me um and i'm all glad that you guys came here to join me today so much has been happening i'm not even going to be able to all put it in a video but some of the downloads i've been receiving uh from the universe um i want to share some of the things with you um first and foremost let's speak about this winter this beautiful beautiful uh winter we had a winter solstice then this this new season to um really go in and reflect on aspects of yourself that you need to address or certain things you may need to uh, release from your psyche. So this month, uh, this this whole time basically, winter and this whole, the whole month of uh, December, I have really been going within myself. I really, I, I do a little bit of stuff on Facebook, but I really kind of just been um, quiet and, and observing and doing what the animals do, do what nature do. So being in the flow with this this winter solstice or this winter period, just being in the flow, um, I really learned a lot. I learned how it is a great time for the body to rest and trying to go against that flow, you're never going to get anywhere. Like I've been tired like every day and it's like I did so much in the spring and the summer where now it's like, I can see why animals go inside and introvert and reflect and rest. Because the new season, you know, spring comes along, summer comes along, and you need to be refreshed. So winter has taught me um, a lot. It's taught me to shut down, to be more um, selective of uh, who I let in my energy field, who I give my energy to. So I learned so much uh, during this winter season, and I'm super excited to be aware, uh, aware of what's going on. Um, so, uh, um, the veil, the veil is lifted. So anything that we thought that was not our real reality is now in our reality and it's too real. We just really have to use our mindset and just in hindsight and that God is communicating with you every year. When I speak of God, I'm speaking of myself. So it's like self-talk every day. Um, so having an open first eye, what I like to call first eye, which is uh, the third eye, it really drops the veil for different reasons. So um, everything is a message to us. Everything, like everything is literally a message. So um, I know how we have certain and stuff we say or certain mantras but maybe one of the mantras that you can you can add to uh, your mantra practice is um, having the power to be aware of your reality being aware of yourself knowing that everything is a sign from you meeting a person at Walmart and they saying a little something from you know you reading a book and there's a certain word because see what happens is the universe speaks to you. It shows itself to you in it. So you may you may see the word, for example, what I've been seeing is manifestation. I've been seeing this word everywhere. People have been, you know, coming in speaking about health conditions and I've been watching movies and there'll be like a whole topic on it. So basically for me, that was the universe kind of showing me to live in the now. Don't expect anything. Because what happens is you get your panties all in a bunch. Let's just say you're going to a party or something. 
painted a picture for the fantasy of how Sasuke went in to be at the party was going to be, and then at the end, you all picked him. Well, being at the present moment, we learned that something how she was cut and stuff, but it's really not the case. I just want to say the universe, source, God, Allah, we will be so called in this particular uh, being, um, is always creating. So be very, very aware. That's why God, Netflix. I don't know if y'all been on Netflix, but I purposely know that they place it in certain movies, hot movies, like I said, hot movies during the winter time on Netflix because it really speaks to the subject of the content of the movie and the actual content of the movie and what the actual movie is about. You know, there's a couple of movies out there on Netflix that has really been speaking, um, speaking about getting current affairs. About also what's coming up next, the uh, the full moon is going to be in Cancer, and you know when you know Cancer is a water sign, so when you think about water signs, it just makes it more interesting. Um, a lot of shadowing has been happening for years or around the time that this is happening. They are a reflection of the moon, so a lot of people are doing shadowing. When I say shadowing, I mean dealing um, with that. Dealing, um, okay, I hope you guys can hear me now. I just know, I was going so in it, I didn't even notice that you said you couldn't hear me. Okay. Um, ooh, I was so low, I'm so sorry, y'all. Can you guys hear me now? Okay. Okay, I kind of was going in. It's so much. It's so much coming in. I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know where to start because there's so much coming in. So, okay, cool. I'm glad y'all can hear me. I am so sorry. So the ones that still hung on to listen to what I'm saying, this message is definitely for you. Um, gosh. <laughs> so um. So basically, I was speaking about shadow work, um, doing the shadow work. Um, and when I mean shadow work, I mean loving those aspects of yourself that you ignore, you know, and acknowledging them and not judging them and releasing them. For example, let's just say that you are a very jealous type of person. Um, you will acknowledge that you are that type of person. You will show love love to it because it is you and then you will release it so a lot of shadow work is definitely being done um and i don't know if you guys have watched black mirrors on netflix that movie right there that series you know is a reflection on going within yourself that darker aspect of you that dark side that we call we have we, we have we have to love that side like that's a part of us it's the duality it's the balance it's the good it's the evil so with this full moon coming up in Cancer tomorrow, um, is really gonna um a, a, a rise and arisen a lot of uh, you know, trauma, whatever type of what you call trauma in your experience, uh, should be coming up right about now. I know it's coming up for me. Um, it can it can go from you know childhood trauma. It could be you know a bad breakup or a divorce <clears throat> or death. Um, it's a lot of this has been coming up and it's coming up because it's unresolved you know you have to let go of it it, it happened and so the situation happened and it served its purpose um everything is divine even things that we call tragic um or, or traumatic it's not really traumatic we put that word behind it and we forget that it's actually it's a divine experience and I know it may be hard for some people to swallow, but as far as, you know, it, it even goes down to being abused. Like, if you were abused, there was a lesson behind you being abused, you know. And so it's up to you to tap in to see the lesson and don't hold on to the the pain of it or, you know, hold on to the guilt or the shame. Like, so releasing it. So this full moon coming up tomorrow, it should have your black candles out. Um, and really bash out any negativity or bash out any fear. And when you write and stuff, just don't say, um, I am releasing fear. What are you releasing fear of? 
You know, I am releasing fear of dying or I am releasing fear of losing my partner. Like by you slowly releasing those type of thoughts out of your mind, it makes room for more positive thoughts in your life. And it makes and it and it brings balance to yourself because it's like, okay, I I do have these aspects of me, but it's up to me and not if I want to tap into this certain type of energy. So just really make sure to do your your shadow work. Um, you know, if you can tomorrow, uh, even if it's for a couple hours, just try to be quiet and really listen to what's going on in your mind because everything is coming up and as i have stated before i'm not sure if you guys heard me so I'm, i could repeat some of the stuff i said earlier before i turned up my volume but um you know being aware that god source allah jehovah whatever you call that infinite mean being being aware that it's always speaking to you and always communicating um, to you via you know it's um you know movies books uh, you know, to walk into somebody and they say something to you, like really, really manifesting the awareness of your now moment in the now. Right now, at this now moment, is all that matters. Not next week, not in about four o'clock, because you don't know if four o'clock gonna come for you. So, um, so doing the shadow work, I'm gonna kind of, kind of repeat some of the stuff I said at the beginning, um. <clears throat> I know I was talking about the winter month, and this is a good month to just make sure that you you're doing your shadow work. You're um you know you're slowing down. This is time to slow down. If you have any business stuff that you want to pop off, wait till the spring come out. Like this is the time to really do your purging, your cleansing, your listening, your meditating, um, your chilling out because uh just like the animals, you have to be in the flow with nature. And so right now, nature, the animals, yeah, people, you know, some animals, they are out doing things, but they're not doing as much work they would do in the spring and, um, you know, the summertime. So being in the flow of nature and slowing down and not feeling hard about yourself. Like, we are here to have a human experience. Don't beat yourself up about some of these things. Now, I'm not saying use excuses for what you do. But if you don't feel like getting up one day, meditating or reading your book, and you really just want to lay up in your bed and relax and maybe sleep, do it. Because the thing is, we don't control these vessels. Things work through these vessels. This is a vessel. This is a meat soup, guys. And so spirit works through this soup. So a spirit is like, baby, I'm tired. I want to nap. I don't want to meditate. Don't beat yourself up about it. Go with the flow of the now moment. If that's how you're feeling right then and now, then do it, you know? And another thing I want to touch up on is, because I'm not sure if you guys heard me, was um not having any expectations about life. Like, that, that ex expectations, obligations, trust, and play have really been, you know, popping up to me. I'm talking about even from the shows I watch and the conversations I have with people. Because what happens is when you expect something to happen and it doesn't happen, you put your emotion into it and you end up getting all pissy and your mood changes because you thought something was going to be some way. But living in the now moment and living in the flow means, okay, I thought it was going to be like this, but it's not. And now it's like this. So just being in the flow with it, like, when we have expectations, our feelings get hurt. You know, maybe we meet a girl or a guy and we're like, okay, we're going to get married. We're going to have kids. We're moving to Africa. Da -da -da -da. How do you know you're going to do that? That's a far time from not the now moment. <laughs> it's not in the now moment. Now, if you could do all that in the now moment, then go ahead. But stuff happens. You know what I'm saying? You know, God forbid, but that person could die. That person could leave you or that person could get sick. Or that person might lose a leg and you don't want to be with them no more. So just living life in the now and just flowing with it and give giving thanks to the uh giving thanks to having to be in this area, guys. Um I know I'm just like rambling around. I haven't did a video in like a long time. 
and it's just so much has been happening. Like, I don't even really know where to start, but I did just want to come on here and just, you know, touch bases with everybody and see how everybody's doing and just give you a little bit of forecast of what's going on. Also, let me go ahead and speak about Twin Flames while we're at it. So, um, so, uh, Twin Flames, how do you know when you met your Twin Flame? <sighs> In my opinion, I think everybody that enters your life is here to teach you a lesson. Whether you think the relationship was quote unquote good or bad, which is the same thing. Um, but when you met that other half of like your soul, because the soul is so infinite, it's not compact in one vessel. It's infinite. It's infinite. It can't be compact in one vessel. The soul men lives out many different lives. And so for me, in my opinion, is that when you meet your twin flame, you meet another part of your soul. You know what I mean? You meet another part of your soul. And that person, and then you get to a point where you don't even have, you don't have that same connection like you have with other people. You start to see that they are definitely your reflection. That person is basically, I like to say like the Libra scale. Like that person is basically your other portion of you and y'all know that you guys are divinely in that together like when you guys meet each other it feels like you pick up where you last left wherever that may be you know it just flows in so um and there's a familiar feeling that you feel you feel you can feel it you know what i'm saying and everybody's experience is different i'm just telling you my experience like you can feel that uh, familiar uh familiar energy like you can just feel the many lifetimes that you guys um, uh, been with each other. And then also you'll see that your twin flame is supposed to be there to help you grow. You guys, you guys are supposed to work as a team. So if you see that your partner is a little weak in this area and, right, and then they see you a little weak in that area, the thing is to come together on a soul mission to help each other's soul excel. Because when twin flames come together, it's not even really about them. It's about helping others, but they do have to make sure that uh, that both are aligned and balanced um, with their energies and not being, you know, um, you know, all in their little lower selves. So, but with that that twin flame, um, you uh, uniting because a lot of twin flames are coming together right now. When y'all unite, you are a dynamic couple. You're dynamic. You're because you're, you're you're synced in. Um, and so you attract who you are. So if you attracted a mate that, um, you know, I don't know. For example, if, you know, maybe they lazy or maybe they don't like to do something. Well, just look inside of yourself because that's probably you. That's why you're attracting that person. So um, when you meet your twin, I think you have to be in a state of mind also for that. You have to, you have to be on some, you know, fifth dimensional type of type of stuff and have your stuff together because when you meet that that other half they're gonna be on the same vibration too and so together collabing that's when you really affect others so um a lot of twin flames uh, uniting during this winter time a lot of people died because it's a lot of uh a lot of people died because they tried to make it to that um portal before the new year came when the new year came in that was a big portal opening up so a lot of people died to make it into that portal so new beings can come on this um on this realm so um i'm gonna touch uh touch on uh, one more thing and that's about the veil the veil is is dropped and so what you will experience and notice is that when your first eye because this is the first eye to develop in your mother's womb when your first eye is <clears throat> clear what you start to see is certain type of colors um, like rainbow spectrum colors, you can start kind of just see it swiggling around sometimes. Um, sometimes you can see you can see it, you most times you see it like in your peripheral, but sometimes you can actually just look at it. Um, and these little sparks, they're like these little, like a thing. <laughs> they're like a like a, a like a, a speck of glitter, but bigger than the glitter. And they and they they just they come, they light up, and they're always around my house. And sometimes I see them out too. I start to see stuff like that. Um, a lot of like black shadows, um, oh, candles. Whoa, watch out for candles in your house. 
when you start opening up portals and stuff in your house, because baby, some strange things happen to be in the temple with candles. So I don't even go to sleep with candles at night anymore because uh, there's so much energy in my house and so much going on. Because the thing is, there's there's a di- it, the dimensions are on top of each other. Going to different dimensions is a state of mind. It's a state of mind. You're not going anywhere. But I'm not going to get too deep into that because I'm going to make a video about the fifth dimension so you can fully understand what the fifth dimension is. It's not, I mean, it's, it's more of a, a, a knowing of freedom. It's more of um, a perspective, you know, because going, what you'll notice is that you can create worlds inside of worlds. Like, it's dope, man. Um, I didn't got off topic topic now because so much information is like coming in right now i'm just like oh oh wow i had to stop because i forgot what i was saying i don't know what i was saying because there's so much information coming in but creating world when i say creating worlds inside of worlds that means like let's just say you let's just say you live in a bad neighborhood right you walking down the street that shit don't even phase you you're not even in there your physical body walks down that street but your mind is somewhere else that happens so much with me. Like, I'll walk down Atlanta, in Atlanta and be like, um, oh, snap. Like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Oops. Hold on, y'all. That was a little confirmation, I guess. <laughs> but, um, but I'll say that for another day. The worlds, creating worlds inside the worlds in the fifth dimension. I'll say that for another day. I'm going to start doing a little bit more uh, videos because I'm about to be changing seasons. So stay tuned for my next location. Uh, it's not going to be all, I can give you a hint, it ain't going to be all gray and cloudy like that. So it's going to be some sun popping. And when I get that sun popping and my melanin popping, I'm going to be more up and activated. So I'm going to be doing some more videos because there's a lot of topics I want to touch base. A lot of stuff has been going on. I haven't really been doing too much internet stuff. I prefer to do face-to-face things. Um, so if, you, if you're in the area, ladies, if you're in the area in Georgia, come check out tomorrow. I'm having a uh, full moon goddess fusion where we're going to come together. We're going to eat great food. We're going to do some kundalini yoga. We're going to do some candlelight meditation. Um, what else we got going on? We got intuitive dance class. Um, we got sound bowls, sound healing with chimes, chanting. Like, so if you're in the Georgia area or you're going to be visiting the Georgia area um, and you're around, like, Atlanta, I'm in Avondale Estates, come on down tomorrow to the temple and let's uh let's come together. Coming together. One more thing, y'all. Coming together is what 2017 is really bringing. Community, building creating our own currency with our own laws and our own rules. Like, it's too easy. We don't have to live by the dollar. We agree to live by the dollar. If I got, uh, you know, a freezer, I don't know, I grew a whole bunch of collard greens, and I got so much collard greens, and you got some candles that I need, and I ain't got no cash for no candles, well, of course you can have some of my collard greens. And, of course, I can take some of your candles. So, you know, we can end this problem. Uh, we can end this this poorness. We can end this suffering. It's all up to us. So 2017 is about coming together. It's about uniting. It's about community living. It's about being more intimate. It's about dropping labels, dropping gender, dropping all these. I'm a vegetarian, fruitarian. Like, man, leave that three dimensional stuff in 2016, baby. This is 2017. Level up. Get on your cosmic stuff. Like, really get on your cosmic stuff. So, you know, make sure you are coming together and forming intimate bonds with people around you. It is so important. Your wealth is inside of your family, your circle. Because if you got five sisters, one do candles, one know how to do that, 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 whatever. Y'all all can always bless each other and help each other. There go your blessing circle right there. Always, if you... You, your, your money comes from your support group. So that's what you call circling the black dollar. So we'll touch on that. It's a lot coming this spring, family. So get ready. I am super excited, super excited. I know I jumped around everywhere. I hope y'all 
you know, y'all bear with me and, and was able to pick up something from all of that uh, talking, but um, I was just very super excited about doing the video and just, I just love life. <laughs> I really just love life. I love life. I love y'all. Y'all love me. I am you. I just love y'all. So, ooh, that bird just swooped down like a mole nothing. My bad. So, um, everybody, continue to have a magical day. And know that anything you want in this life, let me tell you, y'all. Anything that you want in this video game right here, you can get. And you can get it with a snap of a finger or a blink of an eye. Every time I get up in the morning, I set my intent of what I want. When you wake up in the morning, first thing you do is set the tone of your day and watch how everything that you want will manifest just like magic. And that will help you. That's going to help you become aware of your reality. And it's going to help you become aware of your power and it's going to help you become aware of speaking with god speaking with god <laughs> so uh yeah family just make sure you set that intent when you wake up in the morning and have a wonderful day i know i'm about to have a wonderful day <sighs> love you all share my video and let everybody know i want this download to hit everybody and i'll talk to you in divine timing